Welcome to X Games Best of Real Snow. In the next hour, we'll showcase and celebrate the elite riders who have delivered jaw-dropping video parts that have captured the essence of snowboarding's progression in the streets. From insane tricks, mind-blowing cinematography, and heart-stopping crashes that underscores the raw intensity and unyielding commitment these athletes bring to real snow. Sit back and don't miss a second of the action. What's up everybody and welcome to the best of real snow. My name is Brandon Graham and I'm humbly joined by a trio of some of the greatest ambassadors snowboarding has ever seen. Bodie Merrill, Chris Grenier, and Justin Meyer. Thank you guys so much for joining us here today. For the uninitiated, Chris, I guess simply put, what is real snow? It's a street snowboarding video contest with the best riders in the world. And it brought in a community of snowboarders that we wouldn't necessarily see on the X Games stage. Pretty crazy if you think about it in those terms. And Justin, it's just as much a filmer event as it is the actual snowboarding. There's a medal at stake for cinematography as well. Right, yeah, I mean, you get a medal as a filmer, which is something you would never expect. I'm excited for this one, because we get to look back at what made this thing tick. It started in 2011, and here we are now, rolling the highlights, best tricks best cinematography, biggest crashes, and we'll also get to catch all of the gold medal winning parts. Well, if we're gonna talk about the history of real snow, we've gotta talk about Dan Vriese. Obviously the first guy to win it, then he went back to back 2011, 2012. What is it about Dan Vriese and this contest that makes it so special? I think Dan's snowboarding just speaks to this event. It's like real crowd pleasers and big stunts, and that's what people wanna see. His snowboarding was built for real snow. On a scale of one to 10 to make a real snow part, uh, it's a 10. It's as hard as it gets. Let's check out Dan Breesey's 2011 video filmed by Shane Charlebois. The Godfather part, the one that started it all, pretty raw, but uh, still holds out the test of time. I mean, that part kind of set the tone for what is real snow, like the amplitude, the style of snowboarding, high speed winch sort of thing. If you're gonna take big risks, you're gonna get big rewards, and, and that's Dan in a nutshell just going huge. Yeah, that first clip, what was it, like a five-story parking garage? And I think it begs the next question, and that is what you guys make of the evolution of street snowboarding and what we saw in 2011 to where we are now. The beginning of real snow timed up perfectly with the building of the winch. Before it was just, you know, a drop-in ramp or natural speed and hit a down rail or something. And now we're going, you know, 60 miles an hour into this giant gap or roof ride or wall ride or gap to rail. And it just allowed us to see the city in such a different view. Well, as I think about the progression of this contest, we can't help but talk about the, shall we call it the Frank Bourgeois era of real snow. <laughs> he competed in this event four times. He won three times in a row, 17, 18, 19. It's like you take Dan Breezy's approach, and you mix it with Louis Paradis' technicality, and then you inject a bunch of steroids into them and go huge, and then you got Frank Bourgeois era, basically. We've created a monster. Yeah. The cauldron. Yeah, well, let's take a look at that video part. His first gold medal in 2017. Here's Frank Bourgeois filmed by the Brothers Factory, Will and Charles Demers.
Justin, your immediate takeaway watching the video? I mean, we've all spent countless trips to Quebec City and these are not spots you'd ever look at. It's like, these are like video game spots. Of course, the snowboarding has to be on point, but the video itself, quality, that has to matter and it certainly did for Frank. Yeah, well, Frank comes from the Brothers Factory. They work so well together that when you have that chemistry, it's gonna elevate his final video even more. Don't forget about uh, real snowboarding. It's not just about contests and stuff. It's about riding with friends in the mountains, powder or sledding, whatever. It's freedom. Frank. Frank. The fun's just getting started. Don't go anywhere. More from the best of real snow after this. Welcome back. You're watching the best of real snow as we're looking back at the history of this video contest. We all have our favorite video parts, right? And we can argue it till we're blue in the face, but now we're taking that and turning it on its head and it's getting judged. And it's getting judged with a cash prize and a medal. I know you've been on both sides as a competitor and a judge. That's a unique aspect to all this. Yeah, it was fun to judge. I love judging snowboarding. He does it for free all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the most creative parts or tricks or approaches that come to mind? Well, one that flies under the radar is Scott Stevens filmed The Real Snow. And then you have Spencer Schubert, who decided to film his whole thing at the rail garden. take somebody like Bodie who does the combination of creativity and going huge. Louis Parody, he was taking some of the most creative approaches I've seen to street snowboarding. One person that hasn't got the shine that they deserve, as well as Maria Thompson. Oh, yeah. She's the only female that's competed in real snow. Front blunt 270s, a sea rail. Her part was incredible and she needs to definitely get some shine for that. Well, let's check out some of the most creative shots over the history of real snow. Check out this montage. I think it's fitting that Bodie Merrill had the ender in that one because he did win gold in 2014. Let's check out that video part in its entirety, filmed by Pat Fenelon.
I'm not just saying this because you're here, but that was insane. Any clip from that can still end a video part 100%. today. Absolutely, that's Bode Man in his prime. I mean, just put it into words. What does this event mean to you? You know, I've only worn them in the house. I think they're inside jewelry only. It just means a lot to me being able to be a part of this event and watch it grow and you know reach a, a broader audience than the course in the word world. So yeah, been unreal. And then of course the following year, you make your X Games real snow debut and you win gold, but the link between the two of you is the filmer, Pat Fenelon. I remember distinctly getting the phone call and saying, hey, we want you to do real snow, and I was basically breathing into a brown paper bag. I was so nervous. I was like, okay, this is, this is my moment. It was an M&M <laughs> mom spaghetti type of situation. And yeah, we've just put everything we had into it. Well, let's check out Chris's part in its entirety. Here's his gold medal winning video filmed by Pat Fenelon in 2015. Yeah, it looks good. It takes two to tango, so let's not forget Pat Fenelon, Mac Dog, do the honors. Congratulations. Thank you. Still, nine years later, amazing video part. You know, he had it at one point, and I think he still does. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I, awesome. I can't. I, like, I, like, our actual conversation is sorry. Like, yeah. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we look back at some of the gnarliest tricks ever put down in real snow. Stick around. Welcome back to the best of real snow. Brandon Graham joined alongside Justin Meyer, Chris Grenier, Bodie Merrill. We're talking now gnarly tricks. I think it's like the four minute mile analogy. Nobody thought it was possible until somebody does it. Well, Breezy would hit that. So I guess I'll hit it. Then you get people like Frank Bourgeois that come along and raise it even more. Well, let's take a look back now at some of the gnarlier, more consequential tricks we've seen over the years here in real snow.
Well, of course, if we're talking gnarly tricks, Frank Bourgeois' name is going to come up in the history books of real snow. Let's now check out his second straight gold medal, this one from 2018, filmed, of course, by Will and Charles Demers, The Brothers Factory. thoughts after watching number two. The confidence required to step up to those gnarly spots that are do or die, so to speak, is just next level. When I think about real snow and just the real series in general, it all comes back to real street. Skateboarding was sort of the predecessor to everything that we're seeing here, right? Every trick that's done in real snow has those roots from skateboarding. Talk to us about the idea of now taking everything that we've done from a video contest from the streets and now actually bringing it into backcountry. Yeah, I still try to bring that foundation of skateboarding into all aspects of snowboarding, including backcountry. You certainly tied all those in, winning gold in real snow backcountry back in 2016. Still the only rider to do that, winning best in real snow and best in real snow backcountry. Let's check out your backcountry gold medal part filmed by John Ray. Come on down. All right, shut up. Woo! Congrats, brother. Thank you. Pretty rad. We're talking about real snow and hitting the streets, but uh, I'm glad we were able to get that one in there. You got Rider of the Year that year, too, in addition? Yep. Good year. Good year, Good year for the guy. <laughs> you look back at that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, one, that one worked out. We're taking a break. When we come back, we get into all things cinematography here on The Best of Real Snow.
Welcome back to the best of real snow. It's cinematography time. Talk to us about what makes something really pop as far as cinematography goes. The job of the filmer, the cinematographer, is to make the trick and the spot look A, the biggest, and the trick, the purest. It's in your hands to make it look good, and if you blow it, that could be the only time they land the trick. If you didn't get it, then that's on you. Yeah, absolutely. The symbiotic relationship between a filmer and a rider is important. They're your mental support system. They're your therapist. And in terms of uh, making a video, I've heard it once described by MacDog as you're trying to create a feeling. You want the viewer to have a feeling. And I think that's really in the cinematographer's hands, not the rider's. If you were to take the same 10 tricks that a rider does with the same rider, each filmer is going to make that part look completely different. Kevin Backstrom's video, where he won second place, something about the video and the, you know, the editing and the music and everything that played into Kevin's part just made you feel a certain type of way. That can be the difference, the edge that puts you over is, you know, the vibe hits just right. The one that sticks out for me in terms of the attention to detail and the editing and the filming was Benny Urban and Alex Pfeffer. They had all these really cool transitions where they crinkled up pieces of paper and just put all this extra attention and all the minor details of editing from shot to shot. So we're giving these filmers a lot of praise, but there's something that we gotta talk about as riders. You know, when we build these spots, it's a lot of shoveling, and a lot of these filmers seem to be conveniently looking for an angle, <laughs> going to Starbucks. They seem to be conveniently unavailable when a lot of the hard shoveling needs to get done. That's kind of a constant I've noticed, Bodie. Have you noticed that? Yes, I have noticed that. Um, and then to their credit, though, they are artists. And I've heard that, <laughs> I've heard that artists, you know, they don't shovel. <laughs> Ju Justin, care to comment? I, I think if I was tapped to film one of Dan Breezy's segments, I would be looking for a lot of angles. Very, <laughs> a lot of angles. Well, he's one of the most creative guys on a snowboard. We've seen him win medals at actual X Games in Aspen, and then he wins gold in real snow. Let's check out Rene Renekongas' part from 2020, filmed by Anton Kiski. Wow, watching that back, I, I think we all have the same reaction, like, oh my God, this guy is insane. Rene comes from a slope style background, and so like the speed and approach that he takes to the streets is a little bit different than the other real snow parts that I've seen, and it just worked really well for him. Just looking at some of your contemporaries and peers, who else do you look up to or are influenced by as you watch filming in this contest over the years? I mean, in real snow in particular, you have, you know, Cole Taylor from FODT. He's kind of like paved the way for countless careers of professional snowboarders. And uh, I think it's pretty special to see him in there. Yeah, no doubt. How about for you guys? Well, a personal favorite of mine is this guy right here, Justin Meyer, who's filmed a bunch of real snows over the year. Jake Welch had an insane part that he did. Uh, Zach Hale, 
the contribution to snowboarding in general. Justin, you've had a huge impact. Zach, I think a little more just like probably on this side would be good. That'd be really funny if you actually touched a shovel tonight. I can't risk injuring my fingers, Zach. Don't worry guys, I got this. Got all of it. I think we're playing with fire now. Well, you brought up Cole Taylor at the beginning, and I think it's fitting then that we should check out Dylan Thompson's 2016 gold medal part filmed by Cole. Check it out. I think especially like, sorry to interrupt guys, I <clears throat> wanted to bust in real quick, say what's up, and uh, congratulate you guys on winning the gold medal. <laughs> no, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> games. Real oh, oh, no Oh no man. way. Here you go, my man. Dude, Dude I was wondering what you guys are doing working around here. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> Well, we have to take a quick commercial break, but when we get back, we talk about some of the crazier crashes that have gone down in the history of real snow. More after this. Welcome back to the best of real snow. And guys, it's time we talk about something that's sometimes tough to talk about, the risk versus reward. You're putting it all out there for a chance at glory, but the inherent risk of getting injured is always in play. How do you guys deal with that? Especially when you know you've only got a six week window to film. The pain of walking away and not trying something often outweighs the physical pain of getting hurt the other end of it, you know, behind the lens, you almost want to be like a borderline EMT. Here's a, a montage of some of the craziest crashes that went down. Check it out.
everything stop. Leave the camera there and start running. I that my back was broke and uh, I started like shaking. I see in his eyes that maybe he's not gonna walk ever, you know. So I was like, why are we doing that? And a lot of questions we have. I got pretty lucky on that one. Uh, my back wasn't broke. So that was a very long time, but he do what he have to do to come back and come back strong. Pain is a state of mind. I will send it no matter what. If you want to ride like lightning, you got to crash like thunder. So, <laughs> thought you should know that. That's never easy to watch, I'm sure. Even tougher for you guys living it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at you, buddy. He's uh, looking at you. Uh, like, don't look at me, don't look at me. <laughs> when you slam hard enough that you get a shot, and you're walking away, you might be in pain, but you're like, I got a clip today. It entertained people. A slam is a clip. A slam is a clip. We call it a, a legitimizer. Is that an industry term? Yeah, legitimizer. I like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. use that. There's the fine line of keep it rolling yeah. without freaking out, and then you kind of let that dust settle. It's maybe 20 seconds, and then, all right, <laughs> I'll go see if he's all right. If you look at all the greats, they slam really hard, and that's just the price of admission to get A grade clip. Yeah, okay. Well, speaking of A grade clips, let's go back. 2012, this gold medal video from Dan Breesy and Justin Turkowski. Check it out. This is my first gold medal I ever got. It was 2011. Real snow, gold. Still can't believe I ended up getting a gold medal that year and then followed it up in 2012 with another gold medal. So, super stoked. We went 2013, I got a silver medal, which was pretty cool. And then 2014, another silver medal. Kind of blown away that it all ended up happening the way it has. All right, well that was Breezy's part from 2012, his second X Games Real Snow Gold, and just the video for you as a whole. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looked like a lot of shoveling on the back end, <laughs> so I, I probably personally would have been out on that one. I can't believe snowboarding's been elevated to this level from Real Snow. My favorite thing about Real Snow is that technical snowboard progression and bringing it to giant features. The tricks are getting more technical, and in getting more technical, they're getting more refined. Well, it was tech on tech on tech in 2013. Let's watch the gold medal part from the one and only Louis Paradis and his filmer, Hayden Wrench. Ugh, 
absolute wizardry from Luif there. The one thing about Luif is he is every snowboarder's favorite snowboarder. It's almost cheating in a way, because he just looks better on a snowboard than everybody else. So he's already got a leg up it's on the true. competition. Well, we've got to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we look back at some of the greatest tricks ever put down in the history of real snow. Welcome back to the best of real snow, Brandon Graham, joined alongside Bodie Merrill, Chris Grenier, and Justin Meyer. Let's watch a montage of some of the best tricks to ever go down in real snow. That's amazing. I mean, that is truly in essence what real snow is all about. Well, you can't tell the tale of top tricks at real snow without the MVP, the only guy to win three in a row. Here's Frank Bourgeois' final gold medal part from 2019, filmed by the Brothers Factory, Will and Charles Demers. And that was Frank's third consecutive gold medal. Certainly one of the MVPs in the history of real snow. But it got me thinking, 
not necessarily best parts of all time because that is so subjective in nature, but our favorite parts. My personal favorite is Luif's first real snow part he did. Jed Anderson's, uh, he filmed it with Joe Carlino. He ends it with a really incredible switch backside 270. Spencer Schubert's, it was all in one part and he pulled it off and it happened to be in my backyard. You're a little biased. In that yeah, way. I'm a little biased. I have an alternate favorite real snow part, which was Sage Kotzenberg's uh, real yeah. snow. It was a choose your own adventure, right? Hit the streets, go back country. He showed you what Sage Kotzenberg's all about. Per Bodie's request, Sage Kotzenberg's 2021 gold medal filmed by Jeremy Thornburg. One goal. Wow. <laughs> and they magged it together. <laughs> well, that's Sage Kotzenberg in a nutshell. Those jumps are gnarly. I mean, that was one of the heaviest real snow parts of all time. The future of street snowboarding. Where women are taking it in the streets right now. They've been leveling up, getting better, pushing the absolute envelope of street snowboarding. Uh, the impact that real snow has had on snowboarding. It's taken what we know and love and do and kind of introduced it to a broader, bigger audience. It's really pushed the envelope in that regard. I love this conversation. I hate that it has to end, but uh, this has been really cool, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Bodie, Chris, Justin. We don't know what the future holds for real snow, but one thing we do know for sure, the last 12 years have been a hell of a ride. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>